Hey, welcome to White Crow Roping, episode 43. It's been a while since I've made one. Been pretty busy over the Christmas and New Year. <clears throat> Got to go to Texas, played a show in Waco, and saw my buddy James in Wichita Falls. But uh, my last video I made about patience, and I realized I've got to, I've had to work on that quite a bit. And over the last, probably the last two years, I thought this is the year I'm going to rope every every day, every week, and and start going and making money and start piling success on success. And now looking back, I realize how much I had to learn and and how much progress I had to make. And I'll probably look back on this and say the same thing. But Lord willing, 2019 is going to be my year, and I'm my goal is set to make it to the World Series of Team Roping Finals next winter. Hopefully, qualify at least once. And uh, I don't know if I'll be a three or four or five at that time. But if I'm a four, I'm going to do my best to be the best four going into going into the finals and, and make a pile of money and reassess at that time and see where I want to go from there. <clears throat> I got to play that show with my buddy Chris Perez and Jared Hale. Shout out to both of them. It was a pretty good time. And every time I I guess playing music is a lot like roping in that you might do okay, but you always know you could do a little better. <laughs> and instead of instead of uh, just wishing I could do better, I'm gonna this year also. I'm gonna find find a really good fiddle player, maybe one of them around Fort Worth, and, and start trying to take some lessons. See if I can step that game up a bunch this year and. It's not really about the money in that end. It's more being the best I can be and being creative and learning to get on, get in flow under pressure and in a way create order out of chaos. I mean, it. it's like we're made in the image of God and one of the things he is is, is what, made, what made the natural order out of nothing. And a lot of times it feels like that playing music where you every every second every minute of every song is like a uh, it's something new that you're putting out there and if it's if it's not even if it's not recorded in that moment in time it's I guess you could say it'll touch people or yourself affect you in, in ways you can't understand so it's a pretty awesome thing and I well, I've had my moments. I know that I could be a lot better, and, and I'm going to keep working it, keep working on it. And I don't know that I'm going to make it to Arizona this year, but I've been searching around, looking for a spot to go and to go in Texas, where I can rent a stall and where somewhere where they rope steers every day, and I can I can get some build some solid practice put string some days together and I might end up having to go for three weeks at a time and come home and shoot a few horses to keep the lights on but if you're watching this or and you're a higher number roper and, and you got a spot where I could come and and rope every day and I'll pay for a stall and maybe a hookup if you got it or get in a campground somewhere I really want to get around some high you know, I feel like I just being around better guys is what is what's going to take me to the next level. So if you know somebody that has an outfit like that, I'll trade on uh, I'll trade on horseshoeing, or I'll uh, show you how to shoe your horses, or trade on guitar lessons, or teach you how to play fiddle basics. Whatever it takes, I'm gonna. I'm going to make it work, and I know a lot of, over the years, I've been kind of scared to, to say what, where I'm going and what I want to do, because I feel so, sometimes I've felt so far away from my, any of my goals, but 
starting this year in 2019, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to be the best roper I can be, and I'm going to make a lot of money. And when I get to be a six or a seven, I'll reevaluate, you know, what I want to do then. But for for the time being, I'm just going to I'm putting it out there that I'm pretty committed, and it's. It's felt funny saying that sometimes, and, and it still does, you know, like I'll, knowing how far I have to go, and, you know, I'll watch a video of myself sometimes and get discouraged, but, like James said, you just, even when you don't know what you're doing right or wrong, you've got to keep working, and that's where, and, and pushing yourself, keep pushing yourself to break the patterns and, and. I know it'll make something happen by the grace of God. So thanks for watching this far if you're still here. And for sure, if you know of someone that somewhere around the, anywhere within 100 miles of Dallas-Fort Worth, I'd like to go around there and somewhere where I can rope every day and I'll pay for a stall or pay to practice, however, whatever it takes. But please hit me up in the comments or uh, send me an email at all lowercase c ryland jr c ryland jr at gmail.com and uh, we'll get something done thanks again for watching and i hope i'll catch you again next week